When it comes to creating sales funnels, in my opinion, Cutflows is the best plugin out there that makes it easy for us to create funnels in WordPress. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of Cutflows in about 10 minutes. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video we're taking a quick look at Cutflows and all the main features and what you need to be aware of when you start using Cutflows. And by the way, if you buy Cutflows using my affiliate link, you also get access to my course called Sales Funnel Mastery. So all you have to do is to buy it using my affiliate link, drop me an email and I will give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so to get started with funnels on WordPress, the first thing you need to do is to install WooCommerce because Cutflows works with WooCommerce. All right, so once you've installed WooCommerce, I've gone ahead and done that. It's absolutely free. The next step is to go ahead and install Cutflows. Cutflows is a free plugin, so you can find it by coming over here to plugins, click on add new, and then you can just search for Cutflows. So I'm gonna come over here, search for Cutflows, and here it is. As you can see here, it's got a very high star rating and it's already been installed on a hundred thousand websites. All right, so this basic cart flows, it's okay to get started with. It gives you a custom checkout, but it is very, very limited in the features. So this is why you need Cartflows Pro. So I've gone ahead and downloaded it. I've also installed it on my website. So now if I go over here now to all plugins, you're going to notice that I have two plugins. I've got Cartflows and Cartflows Pro. And here we go. Cartflows, Cartflows Pro. Next, I need to activate my license. So I'm going to come over here and add my license in here. Next, hit activate. And now we are up and running. So the next step now is to create a product in WooCommerce. So I'm going to come all the way down here to products. Uh, so first of all, I want to see how many products I have. I may have created some already. So as you can see here, I have product A, product B. Okay, so you need to create a product first. And to create a product is very straightforward. Just click on add new and give the product a name. So I'm going to call this product C. Next, you want to come over here and give it a price. And pretty much that's all we need to do. We don't have to add all these descriptions and any of that. So once you've added your price, click publish. Okay, so now we have a product in WooCommerce. So next, let's take a look at Cutflows and do the basic setup. So I'm going to come over here now to Cutflows and then just click here on Cutflows. Okay, so we have this getting started um, main uh, video here. To be honest, I don't really worry about that. The next step I, uh, I would do is to go to our settings here. And here on the settings is the most important page. So you want to make sure you choose your page builder. So in this case, uh, by default, it's set to Elementor, but you can use this with Divi. And also recently there's been an update. You can also use this with Gutenberg blocks. So my page builder here is Divi. So make sure you choose your page builder like that. Next, you want to come over here. So if you have any uh, Facebook pixels, you can always go ahead and edit here. And if you want to add your Google Analytics, you can also add it here as well. But I'm going to skip that for now. So once all this is done, I'm going to hit save changes. Now it's time for the fun part. And this is where you get to create all your funnels. So to create your funnels, you want to come over here to flows and you can give it your name. So I'm going to click here on add new and automatically you see when I click on add new, it's going to give me all these templates to get started with. And this is great because I can just use any one of these and then go in and customize it. So next I'm just going to go with, um, uh, let's go with perhaps maybe this one here, evergreen product. So I'm going to click import. So now this is importing all the steps that I need, pretty much all your steps for the funnel system. Okay. So once installed, it takes a bit of time depending on uh, your internet connection. So as you can see here, it's imported three out of three and now it's redirecting me to my main interface. So here I can give this a name so I can call this product C funnel. Right, so here we have the landing page, checkout page and thank you page. So this is very, very basic. It doesn't have a lot going on. So as you can see here, we have no product assigned. So what we need to do right away is to decide what sort of funnel we wanna have. Are we going to have upsells? Are we gonna have downsells and so on? If you wanna add a new step, you can just come over here and this is where you can choose your upsell. So here we go, this is our upsell. So this is your template. Plate, you can click here on import if you want to use that for your upsell. But you know, for this example, I'm going to keep things very, very basic. So 
let's take a look at this whole interface. So the first thing we want to do here is to take a look at the landing page. So you can go in and either view it or edit it. Okay, so before you can go in and start editing all these pages, it is important that you come all the way down here to Divi, click on theme options, because this is where you want to activate steps to make sure that it works with cart flows. So to do that, you want to come over here to builder and then make sure steps is activated. Now, once activated, that means we can use cart flows in our builder. Next, I'm going to come back over here to flows and then we're going to go back into our main funnel here and start editing. Okay, so we are back now to the landing page. Now, if we click on edit, it's going to give us the um, interface for us to start building and customizing our page. And as you can see, now DV is active. So if I click here on edit uh, with the theme builder, this now takes me to this landing page where I can start making all my changes and additions to my page. Now, this is the most powerful part of cart flows because it uh, allows us to use whatever page builder that we are accustomed to. And this is very important because this allows us to have any type of design. And for example, here, if I wanted to change all these images, all this is pretty much Divi. I can go in here, click on this gear icon. Now I'm in my uh, image settings. I can click here and add my own images. So let's say I want to add an image which goes with what I am promoting. So I can just choose my image just like that upload an image and just by by doing that i've added all my my image there and if you wanted to change the main heading here you can just go in and change the contents of this heading so let's say i'm going to call this uh, mac offer heading goes here you see just by doing that i've gone in and i've made a change to that okay so once you're happy with your changes you want to make sure you save and then you exit the visual builder, move on to the next step. And this could be now your checkout page. Now on the checkout page, there's a few things that you may need to do, which a lot of people miss when they use cart flow. So this is what I'm going to show you next. So back over here now to my uh, product funnel. Next, I'm going to take a look here at the checkout page because this is a very important step. So if I click here on edit, we are going to take a look and see what we can change here. And this is where we get to assign our product that we created earlier on in WooCommerce. So to do that, you want to scroll further down. Okay, you want to scroll further down. So this is where you can click on this drop down and say, okay, let me search for my product. And I know it's product product A, B, and C. So let's say I choose product C. Pretty much that's my product. If you have coupon codes set up, you can come over here and add your coupon code. But you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit update. Now, there's also other options here, which are also very important. And that is your checkout offer and also your checkout fields. So by default right now, if we view this, in fact, let me show you what this looks like. We are going to get a checkout page, which pretty much has a lot of fields. So as you can see, we have first name, last name, company name, blah, 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 blah. This is a bit too much right? This is a bit too much for someone who's selling a digital product. So what you may want to do is to come over here, go to checkout field, and then you want to enable uh, this field editor. So to now customize this, you can just go in and just click on this eye icon like that. And this pretty much is disabling all the fields that we don't need. And in a moment, you're going to notice how this is really, really cool. So now we have the first name and email address. And uh, you know what? I also want to make this full width. So I'm going to set this to 100%. Now, when I hit update and then take a look at our page, if I refresh, you're going to notice that all this is going to go. So I'm going to refresh now. And now we have our first name, email address, and pretty much that's it. And also we have this additional information, which we can disable here by clicking here, hitting update. So if I refresh now, that additional information is gone. And then over here, we have our product. Now, as you can see, we haven't connected our funnels with any payment gateways. And this is where you can also go in and set them up. I'll show you that in a moment. Next, let's take a look here at our checkout offer. So this is where you can enable the checkout offer before, let's say the customer is about to leave your page to make a payment. You can select a product here to promote and create a checkout offer. So let's say I select here product B as my checkout offer. You can add your discount here. So let's say it's a percentage discount and it's a 50% discount. Hit update. This is now created our checkout offer. And any, at any time you can disable it by coming over here. Now, another feature that I really like here is the order bump. So if I click here on order bump, 
and enable it. Uh, here we can search for the product. So let's call this product B. Okay. So now here we can select an image to go with it. So let's say the image to go with it is, okay, let's select that one, hit update. Now let's take a look at our checkout page and see what it looks like. So if I refresh this page, now we have this checkout offer. So if I click yes, notice what happens here on the pricing. It has now been added. So now I have product B, but if I come over here and say no, if I go back, now we are back to our normal offer. So this is really, really, really powerful. And as I mentioned earlier on, we can actually uh, add uh, more products here on the checkout offer. We can also have the order bump. And we also have this option here for product options. So as you can see, there's quite a lot that's going on here. And to customize our order bump that I activated earlier on, we can always come over here and uh, choose where you want to add it. So it can be after the order. And also you can change the wording over here and also the product description. So once you're happy with all this, in fact, you can see here, we can also change the colors, background color, and so on. Once you're happy with everything, click here on update. And this now has updated our offer. And there's also here this little thing here, which has the animation, which is quite cool, actually. I uh, really like using this. So I'm going to enable it here. So this pretty much just points at uh, the actual offer. So now let me refresh. So when I scroll down, you can see the arrow there, animated which is pretty cool. All right, so as you can see, it is very, very easy to work with uh, cart flows. All these pages that we can uh, create here are all using the page builder, and this is how we set up all our products. Now, earlier on, I mentioned that you need to set up your payment gateways. Now, these are done in WooCommerce, so make sure you go to WooCommerce, set up your uh, PayPal or Stripe, and that will automatically connect with cart flows. So the payments are not set in cart flows itself. They are all set in WooCommerce. Now, there's also another thing that is also very important that I need to talk about here, and that is you also have analytics here. So if I click here on view analytics, it will tell me all the analytics of what is happening here on my funnel. And also you want to make sure that you exclude the checkout page from your caching. If you don't exclude this checkout page on your caching, you always have this infinite loop, which means that uh, all your visitors will not be able to pay for any products. So as you can see, cart flows is very, very powerful, very easy to use, and you can drag things around when it comes to your, your steps and uh, pretty much your funnel steps. And you also have a ton of templates, which you can go in, use your page builder to go in and customize the look and feel of these pages. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. Take care.